Hello everyone, thanks for coming over to the channel. This set of videos was actually shot last year and for whatever reason they weren't put up. But given that we're coming into spring, I figured it was a good time to upload this video. It consisted of footage that was shot along the White Mud Creek that was mostly during the May to September period. You will notice as the video goes along that the vegetation becomes more lush and finally in the last clip you start seeing the fall colors of September. Someone at one time cut a step in this fallen tree, which made the trail a little easier to navigate. Not entirely sure here, but given the old stump nearby, this was probably caused by the roots rotting away under the soil. I still have not been able to film any beaver down here. Even though the dams and structures are everywhere, they still remain pretty elusive. This was shot in May, and later on in the summer section, you will see four grown Canada geese. Not sure if they're the same ones, but it's a nice thought that they could be. Not sure if I've ever explained, but this is why the creek is called the White Mud. It's from the White Mud Formation and is of the late Cretaceous and can be found in areas of Alberta and Saskatchewan. Basically, it's a white clay. On our way through, we found this coyote, but he was a bit shy and hid behind a tree. As referred to earlier, this may be the same group that we've seen in May. Even though they're getting pretty big, you can still see the larger parents guarding them on each side. If anybody asks you if a Canada goose yawns, you can say yes, yes it does. This hysterical little bird could be a yellow warbler. It's acting this way because it's probably got fledglings nearby and it's acting injured to try and lead us away from the young. We were on a gravel trail at this point, so all was good, but if you're in the forest and you're a little worried, it's best to let it lead you so you're moving away from its young. This is one of my favorite scenes of the video. It's a snowshoe hare and we came upon him having his lunch here.
We came upon this buck just getting up on a fall morning in September. Judging by his horns, he was still fairly young. Thank you as always for coming over to the channel.